Hola familia, my name is Felipe Alamardin. I have been in Chef for three years, and today I would like to tell you a story. When I was a freshman, I joined the mentorship program, and my mentor, Freddie, a former VPE, helped me network and come out of my comfort zone. If not, I would have been a kid sitting there today in the back. But today, I am running to be your vice president external, and I have three goals. Firstly, as I've been here for three years, I have been learning through many generations of e-board and leaders. I have built a strong pipeline of alumni, which I want to use as a resource because I want to increase alumni engagement because I want to share the brand with everyone that once in the familia, always in the familia. Additionally, for my second point, I want to keep diversifying the company portfolio that comes to us because I want to ensure you that you get to land your dream opportunity, which is the co-op, an internship, or a full-time. It doesn't matter whatever college you come from because I want to secure that internship for you because I'm going to be in the front lines trying to get those companies to come here for you. If it's for general meeting, it's for the mock interview, it's for the resume critique, I will do my best. For my third and final point, this is directed to you, the members. We can all agree that Shep National Convention has the most impact for our members. And I want to increase the company's, uh, the company funding for you so we can increase the number of sponsorships for new and returning members. I have the grit and initiative. I hope that you put your trust on me to be your next VPE. Thank you. So, Felipe, I'm going to have to, uh, the first question for you. Uh, I am sorry, but I cannot. I, I, can, I have a lot of emotion right now because, uh, you know, how, how you know me because Maybe Javi and I were the first to see you and, and, and I'm, I'm very emotional to see how far you have come and I love your, your speech, you, you execute very well. I have a question for you. As a vice president external, though our main job is to obtain sponsorship for Chef, we also have to help VPI and president whenever internal problems arise. There could be time that you, put, you have to put your hammer down and not a lot of people are going to be happy. So tell me, how will you continue to perform your task as a VPE when you feel unmotivated and unsupported? So when I feel unmotivated and unsupported from my e-board or from myself? From your e-boards and could be your chairs, your leadership team. All right. So Familia, as you can see in the PDF file, I have been in many organizations apart from Chef. One of them being a fraternity where I was a fraternity president and held many other positions. In those positions, I literally had to work from the ground up to say, hey, this is what this position does. This is how I'm going to do it. And for most of the time, I was alone. I had to create, you know, a standard and expectation for the members of that organization. You know, and I see it in Shep, right, where we try to, you know, utilize your, your resources because you know, sometimes you will have to be alone, but if I'm in that situation, you know, I definitely gonna go back to, you know, those roots of like, hey, this is my job and I will do the best that I can, but if I need to, I will also reach out, like in my speech where I mentioned, anticipating using my alumni relations that I built to help me, you know, if I need help with my job or with communicating to my board to make sure we're on the same page because an important thing is you have to have a unified front, you know, as a knee board and trickling down below to the chapter because we're the best in the nation for a reason and what I want to keep it that way. And that has to come with expectation and it has to come from me having the responsibility and accountability to ask for help and then go alone when I need to go alone. Thank you. Well, I like the energy as well. Thank you for the shout out during the speech. No problem, man. Uh, I'm going to describe a situation to you and then I'll follow up with that with a question. All right. Uh, so let's say during the summer, before you start the semester or the year, 
Um, you did your due diligence and you were able to book all the general meetings throughout the whole year. Like you did your job, you got all the, uh, you know, in and confirmed from all the companies. So I'm, I'm company B, um, you know, my first time gonna be able to collaborate with Shep, but you're all booked for all your general meetings. And I'm like, Felipe, you have to guarantee me a general meeting this year. How will you try to accommodate my company? And let's say I'm able to give a lot of the resources that Shep may be, may be lacking. So that may be monetary or any type of events we can, we can uh, uh, volunteer at as well. So how would you accommodate my company B when you have a full schedule? All right, my first question will be to your company. What are you looking for to gain from Shep? A general meeting, we want a general meeting. Why do you want a general meeting? Uh, we feel like this is, we want to come up with a bang. A bang. All right. So what I'll say to you, right, is uh, I'll work with you, right, in a one-on-one -on -one situation if needed, right? I would either plan A, right, do another general meeting in the middle of somewhere, right, where we have those free spots. You know, usually if it's like your company has this thing, right, you know, I can put it in the back, right, because usually most members, right, don't usually come out to that. But if your company is really all about that and brings the energy and I can promote you, that'll definitely bring in membership boost that we need. Because I do see that, you know, in many of the events during the end of the year, you know, we are lacking. So definitely like something like that can definitely boost up morale or plan B where, you know, I'm negotiating with you, right? You won't say you want to come in with a bang. You can also do a bang by doing smaller events in our package deal that we do have. Like I said in my speech, right? We have, you know, the resume critique, the mock interview, you know, doing those small things for members and, you know, puts the foot in the door, not only for your company, but also allows them to gain perspective of what you guys are doing. So it's a win-win situation there that you want to consider for your company as well. And that's all. or that you are in line at the career fair, right? Like it happened not too long ago. And you have 30 seconds to convince me as a corporate sponsor to put the money in Shep and not all of our organizations. So why Shep? Why should I be funding Shep if I have so many other options? So yes, my name is Felipe Alamarin. I'm the Vice President Eternal for the Society of Bank Professional Engineers for at Shep UH. So, why my company? Well, first I have to ask you, why do you want to partner with an organization like us? It's a 30 second deal. Yes, yes ma'am. So can you please answer my question? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm actually not sure. I'm looking at different options. I have all these corporate packages, so I'm, I'm just like... Definitely, ma'am. I would like to get your contact information so I can follow up with you, so we can talk about our package and what we bring to the table for you. Thank you. seeing you up here on the stage. Thank you, Harry. <coughs> but yeah, you gave a nice speech. I, I congratulate you on that. All right, so I, I like that you touched on that you want to bring diversity into companies because, I mean, not everyone in here wants to go after one certain field or... That's right. Uh, at the beginning of the year, the e-board tries to coordinate and kind of uh, finalize the, who's going to be giving the general meetings for both semesters. If you want to diversify these companies, what kind of plan do you have in order to see what the organization wants, what they're interested, uh, how to prioritize X company, and like, do you have a plan for that for this upcoming year? Yes. So one of the best things you know in the world today is the internet, right? And having the internet, we also have spreadsheets. So doing a general survey through the Slack, you know, can give me a feel of what people want to have, right? As you mentioned, diversity, right? Diversity is a big thing in Chet because you don't have to be an Hispanic or an engineer. So we also have to account for COT, NSM, you know, even the business school as we have right here from Orlando, Newport, Jimena. You know, 
and we're trying to, you know, find which companies best fit the portfolio of not only, you know, engineering roles, but can also try to open the door for everybody else, right? And a survey will go a long way to manage that because that's data right there, right? You're trying to find out what you really want. And these members, you know, drive the organization through the heart because they're here, you know, like I said in my, in my speech, to land their dream opportunity or to learn skills. And to work with my e-board, right, as you mentioned, is to, you know, try to set up or allocate, looking at the calendar, right? Hey, can I do mini events here? Can I fit the sponsorship package to go here? Can I do more here? Or can I switch out here and start communicating to whichever person I can for the company, right? And then communicate my people and be like, hey, we gotta prioritize this because this is what the members need, right? And this is what they want. And, you know, it all comes down to communication, prioritizing, having that data on hand, and then making sure that, you know, follows through. Of course, you know, we don't live in the ideal world. You know, I wish ideal gas was, you know, the thing. Can we joke? But, so, but, you know, things might go wrong, the company might not show up, and, you know, having, you know, other companies interested, hopefully they can step up. If not, you know, you know, worst case scenario, right? I reach out again to, you know, my alumni network through the WhatsApp, you know, being like, hey, can you do a panel? If not, have the members themselves stand up here, you know, be like, hey, I had this internship and have an internship. Thank you.